fast or slow, chemistry makes it go. <laughs> this up and see what you notice about the inside of the glow stick. What do you notice? You can hold it. What do you notice about it? If you look inside, what do you see in there? So there's two different things in there and they're not mixing right now, right? Because there's something funky about this inside container, right? This inside container is actually made of glass. Okay, and why would we want to keep this inside part separate from this outside part? But we want to mix them together under our own timetable. We want to see this, and when we mix it together, we want to make sure we're there to see it. Because what happens when we mix these two chemicals together is a chemical change, a chemical reaction. And what does that chemical reaction make? What do you Light. think? Light! Yes, that's right. And how are we going to make these two chemicals mix, do you know? Um, How does a glow stick work? The glass breaks and the thing that makes it light and next year Go. That's right. That's exactly right. So I have three of them here because we have three cups here and you notice it says hot, cold, and room temperature. So we are going to not only cause the chemical reaction, but sometimes scientists want to modify the reaction. We want to change it in some way or we want to see, can we control it somehow? So one way might be with temperature, right? We might want to try to put the glow sticks into things that are different temperature. I just happen to have here some hot water. So I'm going to pour some here. You can tell it's hot because it's going to kind of steam up the, the cup there. And then we have some cold water. There's a little bit of ice in here. I'm not going to pour the ice out, but I'm just going to put some. Okay, we know it's really cold. It's got a little piece of ice in it. And then this is room temperature. So we are going to, I've had this sitting here for a while, so we knew it went to room temperature, so we're just going to pour this in here. Okay. Okay. Now, go ahead and break all three of those. Okay. Yeah. We know it's not a dud. Very good. And we want to shake them. Just make sure the chemicals mix. Okay. So now we're going to put one in room temperature, one in cold, and one in hot. I'm going to add a little bit more room temperature water and a little bit more cold water here. And we're going to see, keep your eye to the bottom there if you can and see if you notice anything about the difference, different things happening with those three. Anything? What do you notice about this one versus this one? This room temperature thing is what we call a control. And this is kind of normal, right? So in a, when you use a scientific method, you often compare the things that you're testing with something that you know uh, more about or that's typical or that people have used before. So this is room temperature. This is kind of our comparison. What do you notice when you put room temperature right next to the hot one? This is lighter. Yeah, lighter. Is there a word? You, yes, lighter meaning brighter, right? Right. Brighter. It's brighter. So the chemical reaction is actually uh, going faster in that one. We're going to talk about um, chemical reactions and speed in just a minute. And then as we look at this one here, so we have some, we have some uh, sort of condensation there. What does that one look like compared to the room temperature one? The room temperature is brighter. The room temperature is brighter? Yes, than the cold. You're right. This is the cold one, right? So if we had to put them in order, we'd say, which one is the, the least? Cold. Cold, then? Room temperature. And then hot. Okay. 
So what we uh, found out here is that we have, uh, when we do change the temperature, we can change the chemical reaction. So if I want it bright, I want to um, have hot water in there, but which glow stick is gonna last the longest time? If I wanted to save my glow stick, what do you think I would do with it? Cold water. Cold, you could put it in the freezer and keep it for a really long time, but it's not very much fun, is it? Because it doesn't glow very bright. We could even switch these. What, if, what do you think is gonna happen if I switch between cold and hot? Go ahead and switch them around and and while we're doing that we'll talk a little bit about reactions and see what happens over time okay so with the chemical reaction we're going to take this away now with the chemical reaction this is a, an idea of what happens with the particles that make or the molecules that make up the what's in the glow stick so when things are cold it's just like when people are cold you huddle all together you don't want to do anything you don't have any energy to move very much, very little motion. But when things start to heat up, those molecules move a lot more. So what happened to our glow sticks when you switched them? That one got darker and this one got brighter. All right, so your, was your hypothesis correct? Yes, it was, good for you. You start with, notice this is a, there's two atoms here, a blue one and a red one. There's three atoms and they're all red. And now they're colliding. They're hitting each other, which is what happens in a chemical reaction. You have, these particles are always moving, always moving. And sometimes they hit each other in ways that don't make any difference. Sometimes they hit each other very slowly and nothing happens. But if everything is right and they hit each other, they can cause a reaction to occur where look, at the end we have two completely different things than we had at the beginning. This one has been combined with another red atom and these two red atoms are off on their own. So that is a chemical change. We started with one thing and we ended up with something different. Mm -hmm.